What up, my wolf pack? It's your <laughs> boy, Pitch Black Wolf. And today, today we're gonna get serious on another episode of Chew On This. There is no evidence of burning in hell or suicide. Saul intentionally fell on his sword, and so did his armor bearer. Never once did the Bible look down on him or punish him for it. There are no records indicating what came after for them. We just assume they're burning because, hey, thou shalt not kill. But is it really killing if it's my body? Shouldn't I have full jurisdiction of what happens to me? But this idea of eternal damnation for our desire to leave this world we've been on has become an almost fact. And I have a theory as to why. In a world of suffering, if the churchgoers knew there was an easy way out, knew that a better place awaited them, who would choose to endure? Who would help the lost souls if everyone found they had a free ticket out? This leads to my firm belief that yes, suicide is the easy way out, but that we should understand that we'll then never know who we truly are if we make that move. See, Jesus saw people with different names. Names no one knew they would grow to have since he sees all time. He knows there's purpose behind the pain. We see a wall, but he sees a pump. So even if we go straight to heaven after suicide, we have to also realize that when we make that decision, we're expressing that God made a mistake in keeping us alive. We're told God doesn't make mistakes. You were never made by accident. And anything you've ever gone through was not a surprise to God. We have to understand that the scope at which we can see is severely limited. Life is going to come with pushback. Sometimes it'll even knock the wind right out of you. But resistance doesn't have to crush you. Like weight training, you can choose to fight back against it. And when you do, you come out all the stronger for it. The thing that could kill you might be what emboldens you to be a strength for others. At the age of eight, I threw myself into a path of a speeding vehicle. I remember my words as I watched the truck peel on its brakes. Angels from heaven, come take me now. And they would have. Had the driver not stopped in time, I believe that firmly. But if they did, I would have never known a lot of things. I wouldn't know what ADHD was for starters. I knew I was different. And I felt a prisoner of my own body's whims. Turns out I have the highest form of it. But I was living in a day and age where no one knew about it. They just thought me some freak. I thought me some freak. I didn't know that what I had would help me write a book. I didn't know that I would have friends who had their own disorders and would accept me for mine. I couldn't see that I would one day be able to have a deeper appreciation for people who treated me normally, therefore have a joy that was easily accessible. I was wrong to doubt I would ever find someone that would love me as I am. I did. And now I live for her. So yes, you can easily leave this world. But who really needs you in heaven? So when you're on the cusp of ending the cruel reality you're stuck in, remember that the little value you see in yourself is not what God sees. And if he hasn't allowed you to die yet, he sees worth in you pressing through. I had to come out on the other side, and it took 
years to do so. But I have never had as much purpose and worth as I do now. And that's because of my unbearable childhood. Someone out there will be able to help you through this. And I can guarantee you it's because they went through the same kinds of struggles that life throws at us. Yes, there's pain, but that's not all there is. There's suffering, but that's not all life is about. That is not the end for you. That can be the beginning of you. Pain is progress. You can come out of this stronger, but you have to push back. There's no telling how important you will become to those around you if you just push through. Now I realize that was a big pile that needed to be chewed. <laughs> that was not just a single bone. That was all the dog food in the world. <laughs> it's a lot to chew down and it's a lot to go through. I debated on whether I should tell you about my past and I realized that my past is my power now. I have a presence now because of that pain, of that loss. I'm able to understand what people go through when they say that their life is meaningless and they just want it to end because that was where I was. That was where, that was where I was weakest. And I needed people to help me through it and and that's why I'm not gonna hide it. I was scared, I was alone, and I know people are going through that still. And I want them to know, desperately want them to know that they are not alone, that you are not alone. And that if you have any problems or concerns, that's what this channel is about. It is, it is, I, yes, I am Christian and I come from a background of Christianity, but that does not limit me to Christians. I don't, I don't want this to be just about a Christian site. I want this to be a place of support, a place where you know you can ask whatever questions you want. I will address them. Trinity on trial is simply me trying to see what the Bible says. But it's a lot more than just the words on the page. It's, it, it's applying it in real life. And because of the Bible, it has taught me to support, love, and serve one another. So if you're struggling, don't you hesitate. You tag me on Twitter, Pitch Black Wolf. That's my username, Trinity on Trial. I see all of the stuff and I try to get back with as many people as possible so that we can address those concerns. So don't hesitate to contact me. That's what I'm here for. As always, I appreciate you guys joining the channel. I appreciate you watching. If you appreciated me, be sure to click <laughs> that like and subscribe. Join the Wolf Pack. We would love to have you. That's pretty much it today. Uh, appreciate you guys so, so much. I will run with you all again real soon. Pitch Black Wolf. Ow.